Hello and welcome to 401k University Class 202, 401k Investing Strategies. I am your host, Stephen Lorio. Now that you know what your private pension Our agenda, introduction, strategy and vision, a reminder, 401k investing strategies, dollar cost averaging, asset allocation, diversification, rebalancing, reallocation, and then to recap. Section 1, introduction. Hopefully you have read through the investments basics of class 102 investments. If not, it is an excellent resource to understand the most significant variable in choosing 401k investment strategies, that being yourself. Always bear in mind that it's important to be honest with yourself about how involved you want to be in investing. If you are not interested in being involved with the day-to-day -day decisions of investing, don't be. There are wonderful options designed to handle the heavy lifting of investing for you. That said, you are here in this class because you at least have the interest in understanding investing at a deeper level, so let's dive in. Section 2. Strategy and Vision, a Reminder. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. Sun Tzu, Chinese general. A strategy is a plan of action designed to achieve a vision. The vision, then, is the key to any strategy. The vision defines whether or not the strategy is ultimately successful. While this class will be focusing on the investing strategies the 401k was built upon, remember that no strategy can be successful without a vision. Our retirement calculator, referenced in class 201, the private pension, is there to help you build a clear vision of your retirement goal. If you haven't already, take a moment to use this resource. Section 3. 401k investing strategies. There are a plethora of investing strategies out there. Just within 401k, there are still a slew of investing strategies. What we will be discussing today are the five strategies that are at the core of portfolio theory. The reason we will be discussing these is that portfolio theory was central to the design concepts of 401k. Let's identify these five strategies now. Subsection A, Dollar Cost Averaging. As the 401k was built upon the premise of deferred compensation, participants automatically employ this strategy. Dollar Cost Averaging is the strategy that says by continuously purchasing into an investment over time, you reduce the stress you'd incur by otherwise attempting to time the market. Studies have shown that investors who endeavor to time the market end up consistently and significantly underperforming their peers who simply avoid this practice. Here is a visual of dollar cost averaging in action. If your only purchase was at the beginning of the year, it would be stressful to hold on in March when things have declined 20% in just three months. With dollar cost averaging though, you simply keep plugging away and in both March and June make the best purchases you make all year. Subsection B, Asset Allocation. Asset allocation is oftentimes portrayed as a pie chart of broad investment categories attuned to risk like so. What you see then is that by modifying the amount of exposure you have to more risky asset classes, such as stocks and alternative investments, versus less risky asset classes, such as cash and bonds, you can adjust the risk of your investments as a whole. This is the underlying premise of asset allocation. By correctly placing yourself at the risk level appropriate to your age and thus the timeline to your goal of retirement, you give yourself the best chance to succeed at your goal by taking appropriate risk when you can and retreating from excessive risk as you get nearer to your goal. Note that a follow-up, more detailed discussion about the broad level investment categories, cash, bonds, stock, and alternative investments, will be given in class 203 investment categories. Subsection C, diversification. When it comes to investing, we've all heard the expression, don't have all your eggs in one basket. This expression is speaking to the benefits of diversification to help protect against the risk of catastrophic investment loss. By spreading money amongst multiple investments within a broad investment category, 
or even a single investment which itself invests among multiple investments, the theory is that should one of the investments suffer a loss, it will ideally be offset by gains from other unrelated investments. Thus, asset allocation and diversification work together as you choose the appropriate risk level for your situation and then diversify within each section of your pie chart. Subsection D, rebalancing. Rebalancing is an important part of asset allocation and diversification. Rebalancing is the act of hitting the reset button on your asset allocation and diversification as the investments drift over time. It's very easy to get caught up in euphoria or dread when it comes to investment returns. This is where you need to have the discipline to stick to your asset allocation and diversification to control your risk. If you simply allow your winners to run away without writing them in, or you leave your losers down and never help them rise up, the overall risk of your investments will shift in ways that aren't appropriate to your strategy. It's crucial to go in twice per year and reset both your asset allocation and your diversification. Here we can see that because of the tremendous growth in stock investment A from January to June, the asset allocation and diversification of the stock category are significantly off target. This jeopardizes the intended risk of the portfolio, and so, to correct this, the portfolio needs to be rebalanced to its intended risk of moderate. In this hypothetical example, by selling stock investment A, we are forcing ourselves to sell high and with its proceeds buy low into our other investments. As you have probably heard, when it comes to investing, you want to buy low and sell high, which is exactly what rebalancing forces you to do. Subsection E, Reallocation. Reallocation, then, is the strategy of moving down the risk spectrum as your goal nears. It is essentially the practical application of asset allocation over time. Oftentimes, it looks like this. What we can see is that asset allocation examples of aggressive, moderate, and conservative are precisely where we'd expect them to be in this representation of reallocation, left, middle, and right, respectively. Reallocation, then, is simply the process of transitioning from one to the other and smoothing the process out. Deciding when to start transitioning and how quickly to move from more to less risky investments is a subject of intense debate within the financial world at this time. Thus, if you have further questions about this, feel free to contact your 401k plan's education group or plan advisor to learn more. In recapping, while there are many powerful investing strategies out there, there are five that are central to the design of 401k. A. Dollar Cost Averaging A strategy of continuous investment to avoid market timing and ensure that when markets dip, you continue to invest and make some of the best purchases you ever will. B. Asset Allocation A strategy to control risk by selecting broad-level investment categories based upon their risk and your timeline to your goal. C. Diversification. A strategy to further control risk by selecting a multitude of investments or an investment which itself selects a multitude of investments within each broad category of investment to avoid catastrophic losses. D. Rebalancing. A strategy to control risk by periodically resetting asset allocation and diversification. A byproduct of this strategy is that it helps force you to buy low and sell high. E. Reallocation. The practical application of asset allocation and diversification over time to ensure risk remains appropriate to your timeline, to your goal. We will dive deeper into investments in our next class as well. Thank you for your time and attention. Our next class in this series is Class 203, Investment Categories. Intermediate and advanced class attendees should all visit this class next. We hope to see you there.